energy. You can see that Miramar earlier was going right over there and he just kind of stopped. That's because it takes up a lot of energy to go that fast for that long. I mean, they're usually between 350 to 650 pounds and moving that for 22 miles per hour for an entire five minutes, that would be a lot harder than us running for maybe like four. And at the end of that tail, they do have these two little tail flukes that help them out with that speed and to jump as high as they can, which is 10 to 20 feet. And he's just listening really intently, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. They're very, very narcissistic. They love hearing about themselves. That was K2. And with those tail flukes, sometimes you'll see them slide out. They'll just, you know, fly out of here and go right back to the water. Or they'll just, like, hang out on that, you know, deck over there. And we do actually train a behavior that is very important for husbandry reasons. We do train something called a slide out behavior, where they come on up on that little deck over there, and then they sever their gravity and they hold it for a few seconds. And it's very important because we can take their weight measurements. So like I said, they can go up to around 350 to 650 pounds. And we actually have Osborne, our youngest, he's nine years old. He is a Porter Pacific uh, bottlenose dolphin. So he's going to get pretty big because they're usually bigger than Atlantic. And he's already 11 foot long, 530 pounds. And he is only nine, so he'll keep growing for quite a few years. These two guys, four years old, they're around 300 pounds. Not totally sure how long they are, but thanks for that lightning. Lightning might be the oldest one, but he can jump the highest out of these three dolphins. How can I tell the difference with him? There's quite a few things. So lightning actually is the easiest one to tell. He's the one that's on the left side of these two. His dorsal fin curves to the left a little bit. And so K2 and Miramar look a little bit more alike, but if you look at their dorsal fins, K2 is taller and it curves in the back a lot more. Miramar looks kind of just like a triangle. You can also look at their faces. Um, Duchess has white freckles above her eye. You can look at their flippers. Duchess also has white freckles on her left pectoral flipper. There are so many different reasons or ways to tell they have birthmarks, they have markings like rape marks. Those actually do go away after a while though. So the best thing to do is to just look at the most distinguishing qualities, looking at their faces, looking at their eyes, their rostrum, or their mouth, or their head. Who has bigger heads? Uh, out of the two over in that um, center pool, Maverick, Beetle, and Osborne. Beetle and, Os uh, Beetle and Maverick are very, very similar to each other. Um, they're almost the exact same size. But if you look at their faces, Beetle has a bigger head, and that's how we tell him apart. At least that's how I tell them apart. <laughs>